Portland State University Melar Library Special Collections has acquired an Armenian prayer roll which can be dated to the late 17th or early 18th century Constantinople. The sacred artifact was drawn and written entirely by hand and is an example of an illuminated manuscript. These manuscripts were a necessary part of daily worship and church services for the devoutly Christian Armenians. It is said from very early on the act of sponsoring a manuscript was considered a religious imperative. Prayer rolls were used for the protection of the owner or for prayer intentions for the owner or their family. While the roll itself is narrow at 5 inches in width, it is quite long, exceeding 16 feet. When rolled tightly, it was possible to conceal the roll when carried. So prized were these prayer rolls, concealment was crucial to protect them from theft. Notes provided by the antiquities dealer from whom the scroll was purchased estimate it was created in the late 17th or early 18th century. The estimate is based on the interpretation included in the roll of the Edicule, the shrine built over the tomb of Jesus Christ within the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. Its depiction here reflects the aforementioned time frame. This Armenian prayer roll includes illustrations of Christian imagery and icons specific to the Armenian Church. These include St. Gregory the Illuminator, who is credited with bringing Christianity to Armenia in the 4th century, and two illustrations of St. Narses of the Fourth, a revered leader of the Armenian Church in the 12th century, who defined church theology in relation to illuminated manuscripts. St. Mark is the first image featured on the roll. St. Mark was the scribe and secretary for St. Peter and is depicted at a desk with tools for writing. A lion is pictured sitting at his feet. The lion represents passion and is pictured with St. Mark by whose teaching passions are taken under control, directed against evil, and toward good deeds. The next image on the roll is of the evangelist St. Luke. His image on this roll is identifiable as St. Luke for several reasons. It repeats many features of a master illustrator such as the half-open desk, fish-shaped lectern, and fanciful foliage footstool, all reiterating motives from Constantinople, just as the pose of Luke, leaning to dip his pen, was similar to the portrait of Mark. Other evangelical symbols are also identifiers. The initial page of St. Luke's Gospel, the rectangular headpiece sits above a much narrower indented arch and is decorated with interwoven lines forming crosses. The initial letter has been formed from the Gospels of the Evangelists, the head of the bull forming the horizontal bar of the letter. The iconography of the bull is arguably the most significant of St. Luke's evangelical symbols. Of the four beasts that symbolize the work of salvation, the bull represents Christ's sacrificial death, also Luke. The inscription on the horizontal that separates the arch from the portrait of Luke refers to Christ and is the grace of the new covenant. The crucifixion is depicted in a large clipius. The bull appears immediately below the feet of the crucified Christ. Ekatagir is an unsealed script appearing below the artwork. Initial letters of paragraphs tended to be in the Ekatagir script or of a different stylized creature. The sections are written in Notregir notary script. Black lettering was used in these sections symbolizing the pain of original sin, while white symbolized the innocence of birth. Red ink was used to draw attention to certain areas, sometimes known as a rubric. Sometimes the scribe would write about his working conditions or provide little anecdotes of wisdom. This writing could continue into the margins around the verses. So important were these manuscripts to the Armenians, it was standard practice for the owners of the roll to write their name in the script. While diaspora forced native Armenians into scattered settlements throughout the Ottoman Empire, the art of Armenian miniature painting flourished for 13 centuries without interruption as prayer rolls and illuminated manuscripts were ever guarded as prized possessions. About 31,000 of these manuscripts survive, providing an important and rare look into Armenian culture, religion, knowledge, and art.